Hey all viewers, I am somewhat giddy, so to speak, somewhat excited about what I have read here on Reddit, because basically I was looking for the person who basically said no to Artemisia being Renoa as an idea, as a theory, as a role play or whatnot. Apparently this was Katase, but the interesting thing is, is that Katase retracted his statement, which many people in the so-called Final Fantasy fandom, which I'm not a part of, I'm not a fanatic, I'm not a fan of anything, but I do role-play in this sense. In other words, when I play Final Fantasy VIII, it is so obvious to me that, that Renoa is Artemisia that I do not even think about it. So that is my type of way of role-playing in the game. When I play the game, this is an obvious reality to me. So... Katase retracted his statement. You can read this, but I'm going to play the video. はい。じゃあ、いつもありますか。はい。これ出します。おお。ミナとアルティミシアはどういう人物なのでしょうか。これね、私よく知らなかったんですけど、こういう話が出てるんですか。めちゃくちゃありますね。ありますね。ポソあ
And it was so obvious to us that that is how we play the game. And him saying, I'm not going to say just yes or no anymore. He is correcting himself. He is retracting his statement because he is thinking back about the process in which Final Fantasy VIII was graded. And as a writer, he is sort of understanding because when you look at the his role in Final Fantasy VIII, Yoshinori Katase was director. He was on story, system designer, event scene director. In other words, he was involved in all that, but he was not the only one. You also had Nojima. You had Nojima, who apparently was writing the scenario, and Nojima, apparently, um, if you look here at Nojima, okay, um, Nojima from Square Enix is an individual apparently likes to add little secretive hidden things in the story. And you see, I think he had a good deal of influence in that. Because when you look at Final Fantasy VII and Final Fantasy VIII, Final Fantasy IX, that is to say, Final Fantasy VII and IX, there's something different about Final Fantasy VII and IX. They're written in such a way where you cannot really find too many secrets in the story. But in Final Fantasy VIII, regarding Renoa and Artemisia, it is one of the main topics of discussion regarding what may be called theories or role plays that seem to indicate to the player that Renoa is Artemisia. For me, that was how it was, and it made the experience of playing Final Fantasy VIII better than playing Final Fantasy VII and IX, which are usually the preferred titles that most people like to play. play. But for me, it was Final Fantasy it was definitely Final Fantasy VIII. That was my most... I really enjoyed Final Fantasy VIII. Um, but I did not know about this interview. And you do not often hear it from naysayers and very mean-spirited people who say, if you play Final Fantasy VIII in the way that, you know, they were basically saying everything is debunked. This is debunked. This idea you have is debunked. Even this particular... I'm going to give this person a thumbs up. I'm going to give this person an arrow up because no one else is doing it. I've went on Twitter before. I've seen how it is. I read a Reddit before. Twitter's a lot better than Reddit in my opinion. But Reddit is pretty terrible. You post something up. No one wants to, even if you're telling the truth, people really do not care. This person is simply saying, I really like this theory. This is how I play Final Fantasy VIII. People are saying, you're playing it the wrong way. But you see, they took what Yoshinari said and they used it so if Yoshinari and I believe he's telling the truth just based on the fact that you have multiple writers for every one of those Final Fantasy games or at least Final Fantasy 8 okay so Final Fantasy 8 had multiple people working on the story and apparently Nojima is sort of famous for adding little secretive hidden things in the story they're sort of suggestive of something so the fact that he does that simply goes to show that our declaration that Renoa is Artemisia is not some type of idea that we um, are sort of, we're not, you know, we're not debunked. We are not debunked, regardless of what anyone may say. Yoshinari has already said, you know, he does not know if Nojima or anyone else wrote this context in the story. And now that Nojima is saying, I am not really commenting on Twitter about stories that I worked on in the past, it just goes to show our role plays regarding these old games is basically our own. We do not need to listen to people say, you're debunked, your theory is a fan theory, it's been debunked. No, that is reality to us. We play the game and that's how it seemed to us. That's how it is for us. Okay. Three people writing the script. And he says he took back that answer that he gave on the Edamone, Edamame arcade channel. He took that answer back because he knows that it's between three writers you all have different ideas a lot of these projects that are done in game companies they're done at a very fast pace and with that much expertise 
And based on all of the connections I saw when I was playing Final Fantasy VIII, I said, wait, Artemisia has a relationship with Cypher. It's almost re- romantic how they are both together. And it's like Artemisia has Cypher as her sorceress knight, and Cypher is absolutely dedicated to it. Meanwhile, we look back in the story, we realize Renoa had a relationship, a, a dating relationship, a sort of romantic relationship with Cypher. And she is sad if she hears that Cypher may have been executed. She's sad about that. She doesn't want that to happen. She really likes Cypher. And she had a romantic relationship with him. She was dating him. And she still likes him now. When you read the script and you read the story. I mean, later on, you know, the relationship between Squall and Renoa sort of blossoms. But the idea that Artemisia sort of became the sort of black-winged sorceress and Renoa was the white-winged sorceress, it makes so much sense to us. And to those of us who really believe that Renoa is Artemisia, there is a reason why no one can convince us otherwise. We played the game. As for myself, that was the conclusion I came to when I played when I was a kid. I, that is what I believed. So, to me, what he just said... That makes me even more strident in my own understanding of basically Renoa being Artemisia and all of those people who've been calling those of us who believe this stupid and have been maligning us. If you're listening, you really are a terrible person in the sense that you criticize others because of your own lack of creativity and own inability to actually role play or even your your capability to even con- conceive things or perceive things that are there and make connections in the story because those of us who did it we know Renoa has white wings Artemisia has black wings our connections are very logical our connections make a good deal of sense but your idea, a good deal of you in the fandom, in the Final Fantasy community, which, which is why I'm not part of fan communities. I'm not a fan of anything. I am just a consumer, an average critic. I have to say, the way that some of you, and I'm talking directly to particular individuals, the way that some of ye have treated us who had this idea is absolutely appalling. It really is. It's really terrible. But anyhow, I am so glad to have found th- this particular clip of y- Yoshinari Katase retracting his statement, saying, wait, I take back my no, I make a correction. Good for him. Good for, you know, people like him. I really like that. That is going to make playing you know, Dissidia NT so much more fun. And people hated that game, but I like it. Anyhow, let me continue. <laughs> that, that makes me like Yoshinori Katase even more as a person. For him to have said that and just simply been on, just simply, it would seem, be honest about it. So there you go. There you go. He said it. And this was the video I was talking about where someone was saying her real name is Artemisia and saying that apparently those who think Artemisia is, is um, how should it be said? Um, that Artemisia is Renoa. I think he said it was stupid. He called us stupid. So this is the type of nonsense that some of us have to deal with. Anyhow, I was very excited to share that. May you be blessed and farewell. I will continue to make more Final Fantasy VIII videos. It is refreshing to basically engage in videos that do not have to do with FromSoft for once. 
This is probably the only Final Fantasy game that I really, really, really like. And I think it was partially due to Nojima to his writing. Because Yoshinari called out his name. He said, yeah, this guy, he put some secretive stuff in this game. He put some suggestive stuff in this game. He has a special touch. Okay. So, you know, bless his soul. That's wonderful. <laughs>